It has been a while, hasn't it? But you know what? I'm gonna do it. My first Blender tutorial in a while. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have missed this, um, but I'm back. Um, did a few gaming con. Did a, did, a, did a few gaming videos. Um, now we're switching black to. I can't speak now we're switching back to blender for a little bit um, so today's tutorial I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make a very simple ghost in the spirits for Halloween now um, I actually made a render like this about a year and a half ago um, but I decided I'd remake it um, because it is October 24th which means there is seven days until Halloween so um, if you guys celebrate Halloween where you live, then happy Halloween. If you guys celebrate another holiday that I'm not familiar with, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you celebrate this time of year, if you celebrate anything that is. But anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. So, um, first we're going to start by modeling the actual ghost body shape. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to hit Shift A, and we're going to go to Mesh and add a UV sphere. Now, I'm going to change the segments to 16 and the rings to 8. Uh, just so we don't have as much geometry to work with right now um, And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up a little bit and then I'm go uh, the way I did that by the way is I just I Hit G I Hit G and middle mouse while moving up um, I'm just gonna bring that to where it's like on top of the 3d cursor then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode and I'm going to click this little box up here in the top left these little two boxes that's going to make it transparent so we can see the vertices on the other side I'm going to double tap A then I'm going to hit B to box select and then just select all these vertices um, the whole bottom half of vertices and I'm going to delete those and delete vertices and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to box select this bottom ring of vertices right here and I'm going to bring it down by locking it on the the, the whatever axis that is uh, Z axis the Z axis I knew that I'm just gonna do that and bring it down um, you can add uh, make sure to add a little bit of geometry as you go oops add a little bit of geometry as you go just so when we subdivide it later it has a little bit of geometry to work with okay so now we have this um, this little capsule thing right here and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna grab some points and just bring them down a little bit just around it so we kind of have that like little ghost dripping down kind of effect I guess whatever you want to call it I'm just gonna grab these pull them down at random points they don't have to all be the same that'll give it a little bit of like effect um, and so now we have this I'm gonna bring that one up a little bit so now we have this and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the modifiers tab which is this little wrench over here we're gonna add a modifier and then a subdivision surface and so um, in the viewport we can turn the viewpoint uh, viewports up to like three and then the render to three too um, and then once we have that what we can do is we can go ahead and pull these down some more if we need to which we probably do need to because the subdivision kind of like smooths those out so we're just gonna bring these down a little bit round round like that to where we kind of have this little ghostly shape right here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the eyes to this guy so what I usually do is I usually just go to shift a mesh and add a circle um, and then I'm going to R R Y 90 um, on my keyboard press the R key and then Y and then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis then I'm gonna hit tab and then I'm gonna hit F to fill that circle in and then I'm just going to scale it a little bit to where it's more like oval like and I'm just gonna put that on the ghost and then scale them down when I need to uh, I don't want the eyes to be very big I want them to be about like that um, what we can try to do is we can add a sh try to add a shrink wrap modifier I don't know if this will work but we can try it shrink wrap targets sphere okay that kind of works and then the offset a little bit to where it's just off and then we can hit shift D and just move this over to the other side like that so now we have these two eyes on the ghost and also you can click the little 
ghost shade that we made and then right click and click shade smooth just so it's smoothed out so now we have this little ghost guy looking here and he has eyes now which is pretty cool ghosts sometimes have eyes and now what we're going to do is we're going to make some little feet for him what we can also do is we can just box select this entire ghost and just move him up to where the 3d cursor is a little bit below him and then what we can do is we can add a cylinder just scale it down move it to where you think feet should be scale it up to about I'd say like that maybe and then just duplicate it and what we can do is we can add some loop cuts through it add some loop cuts through both of these doesn't really matter just add some extra geometry and then we can select this face down here and use proportional editing and just kind of do that do the same thing for the bottom one here do that just so we have some shape to his feet and then shade smooth and then shade smooth what you can also do is you can go to vertices select up here you can also click one two or three on your keyboard um, and then just select like a vertice right here and bring it out a little bit just so he has a little bit of a more of a foot shape and then once we have that uh, what we can do is we can give ourselves another UV sphere and then we can kind of sh shrink this and then stretch it out to where they kind of look like feet and then we go to the sculpting tab up here and then we can just sculpt it uh, we can go up here to flatten and brush and then like flatten the t oh also turn on dynamic topology up here um, and then turn on relative detail under refine method or not refine method uh, detailing constant detail not relative and then turn off X and Y symmetry and then just kind of flatten this right here you might need to change this a little bit to just kind of flatten it out and flatten the bottom out too like this you can also hit G to grab the grab brush and just kind of pull it up they don't have to be very detailed feet or anything just something that look like feet and we can grab up here and pull this part up a little bit and turn on X symmetry for this or not X Y symmetry and just pull this up a little bit and then now we have this little shoe shape and I'm gonna hit shift s to go to the smooth brush and just smooth this out a little bit turn off the symmetry smooth this little hump out a little bit so now we have this little shoe shape right here um, and then we can scale it down a little bit to maybe that and then shade smooth it and then add a subdivision surface modifier add a subdivision surface modifier go ahead and save the file because it just froze right there for me I'm gonna save it as a ghost um, and then the viewport we can change you also might need to smooth that out in the sculpting tab uh, and then we can just like smooth this out a little bit to where we don't have these like little polygonal edges I guess just smooth this out it doesn't have to be very pretty or anything you're not really gonna see these I guess um, we can just change this to one and then change the render to one and then put these like where his shoe should be like right here uh, you could also rotate them a little bit to where they're kind of offset and then shift D and then rotate this one just so they're kind of offset like that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little platform he's standing on the way I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna make a cylinder and then make it down like that scale it up a little bit I'm gonna scale it down a little bit more and then bring it up to his feet and then I'm going to go to edge select which is three on the keyboard or just up here this little edge or face select select the top face hit I to inset it bring it down to about like that and then what I can do is I can hit alt and then click on one of the faces and it should select all of them and then just hit extrude and bring it up a little bit and what I'm also going to do now is I'm going to make the master material on this just a principle with this kind of like peachy color I guess and with the roughness of all the way up and I'm going to select these faces right here again and I'm going to create a new material and I'm going to click new and then I'm just going to make this color black with the roughness all the way up 
and then make sure it's at the top and then click assign this will assign that material to all the faces right here and now for the ghost what we're gonna do for the ghost is we're just gonna give him a translucent material so translucent BDF, BSDF right here um, I'm gonna keep it on white for now and then what we can do is we can get the eyes make the eyes a black uh, roughness not all the way up maybe 0.7 ish like high 0.7 ish and then click this or no click the uh, one without the material and then click the one with the material and then click copy material to selected and now both of them have the black material on it um, I'm also going to make the shoes black but this time I'm gonna make them all the way rough and then copy material to selected and then for the legs I'm gonna make another peachy material this time make it a little bit darker roughness all the way up and then do the same thing and apply the material to selected uh, so now we have that what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a light a point light and just bring it up inside the ghost somewhere um, and I'm gonna make this a kind of greenish light just to see how that looks I'm gonna change the background to dark um, and we're just gonna see how this looks in cycles real quick so this is how he's looking so far he's looking pretty cool um, this little ghost right here uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little lantern that's like kinda floating above his head so the way I'm gonna do that is pretty simple I'm just gonna get a cylinder and I'm going to add a loop cut near the top add a loop cut near the bottom and I'm gonna alt select the faces again around the side and hit E and then S to extrude it out and then I'm gonna inset this top face by hitting I again while it's selected I'm gonna bring it up a little bit I'm just gonna keep doing that until we have this sort of lantern shape and then I'm gonna alt select these faces down here E S extrude them out and then do basically the same thing here but just not as much we can also make this longer if we need to and I'm going to give this a metallic material by just principal BSDF with metallic all the way up. Roughness can stay at 5, that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this like glass, or where well, it's going to be glass, and I'll select these faces, make a new material, give it a glass BSDF, uh, make the roughness down, but not all the way down. Make sure it's at the top and then click assign. And we can shade smooth and then add a edge split modifier to it to kind of like get rid of that like play-doh-ish look it had and then I'm going to put this just like somewhere above his head like just like this maybe and then I'm gonna add another point light I'm gonna bring it up I'm actually gonna uh, change it to maybe point 15 that seems good and just put it inside the lantern like somewhere in the middle I'm going to change the color to an orangey color and change the power to 25. Uh, also, I'm going to give this lantern a solidify modifier so the glass is more see through. Uh, so, solidify is right here. Um, might have to add another edge split modifier too. And so, now if we go to rendered, we can see we have this right here. Um, So we have that right here. Uh, I'm gonna change this point light to a higher thing, maybe like that. <coughs> and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a plane underneath them, like this. And then I'm gonna give this a dark grayish material with the roughness all the way up. <coughs> now what we can do is we can set up our camera. So you can set up your camera just like this control alt zero to get to the position you want and we're gonna select our camera in the little collection right here change the type to orthographic and then change the orthographic scale to something you like and I'm also gonna change the, re uh, the resolution from 1920 to 1080 by 1080 by 1080 just so it's square and then we can center the camera a little bit more maybe change the scale and then just make sure the plane covers it all and now we have this so uh, we have this, which is pretty cool. Um, also, what I did uh, for the original render is I just basically added a cylinder, squashed it down, 
and then inset this face and then extr then extruded it down and then just kind of made these lights around them um, by just placing them like here 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 not there and then back here and then I'm just gonna get this light right here shift D it change it to maybe like 10 we'll see if that works bring it down put it like right here just put it on each of these little light thingies I don't really know what they're called I guess just lights just put these down right here these will just give some lighting to the actual scene and then we can see how that looks and that looks pretty good um, if you wanted to you could uh, increase the lights to maybe like 25 uh, to kind of give some area you can really increase the lights however much you want uh, I'm gonna do about that uh, I'm also gonna change this to 0.25 to do that and so now we have this cool little ghost render uh, so Hopefully you guys learned something from this, um, and hopefully you guys, like, can make this, um, if you, like, make this, I'm always down to see it, so, like, drop a link somewhere to your Instagram, or you can DM me on Instagram, my Instagram will be in the description, um, glad to see, uh, anybody following my tutorials, it really makes me happy inside, you know, but thanks guys so much for watching, um, Hopefully you learned something from this video. Hopefully I helped you out in making a little Halloween render. Um, but, yeah. Uh, thanks you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael from Polygon Island, and I'll see you guys next time.